Hi, Mama. Thank you for joining me today. Find a comfortable seat, whether that is in Virasana, uh, Hero's Pose, or Cross-Legged Position. Wherever you end up, grab uh, a bolster or a blanket or a pillow, anything, or a block, a yoga block, to place underneath your hips to prop them up and make the position feel more comfortable. Your pelvis should be tilted forward, sitting up with a tall spine, Rest your hands on your thighs, and I invite you to close your eyes. Or if closing your eyes isn't comfortable right now, you can just find a soft gaze on the ground in front of you. Connect with your breath. Breathe in and out through your nostrils. Send your breath all throughout your body. Arrive on your mat, be present. Feel your sit bones root into the support beneath you. You're welcome to keep your hands on your thighs or you can place them on your belly, connect with the babe inside or you could place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, whatever suits you best. If you'd like to connect with your babe, send them a little message. Imagine that light within, within you, within your baby. It shines bright. And you can leave your hands where they are. You can bring your palms to touch at heart center and Anjali Mudra. And I invite you to set an intention. It could be anything you'd like, something simple, something you and your baby are working on. Set your intention now and then let it go. Tune into your breath. Feel the rise and fall of your chest and belly. You can Leave your eyes closed or you can gently open your eyes. On your next inhalation, let's sweep the arms wide. Bring the palms to touch at the top. Exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms wide. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Leave the hands where they are for a moment. Sit up nice and tall. Take a scan of your body and notice how you're feeling. If your eyes are still closed, I invite you to open them now. Clasp your hands together, push your palms away from you, pulling the shoulder blades away from one another, and then bring the hands up to the sky. And you can either stay here in stillness or you can slowly move back and forth, from left to right, finding any movement that's going to feel good to you here. Connecting with your breath, Another option is to make circles. Find the movement that's going to feel good in your body. Going both directions, if you try out the circles, 
Notice the opening that's happening here. Let's come back to center, push the hands up, exhale, bring the hands down. Bring your right hand to your head and assist your right ear towards your right shoulder. You can either stay here or you can lift the left arm up a little, moving that left arm around in space, finding any movement that's going to feel nice deepen the opening or to just find an area that feels better. You can move your head forward and back too, using that right hand to assist. Let's come into stillness, assist your head back up and switch the hands. Left hand comes to the head, assist the left ear to the left shoulder, send the right arm out long, and find any movement that's going to feel good to you. Do you wanna move the, the right arm around? Just noticing how this movement feels in your shoulder, your neck, and all down your arm too. You can move your head forward and back in space too. This is your time to take care of you. Give your body the love it deserves. Let's come back into stillness. Assist your head back to center. Let's take some shoulder rolls here. Moving your shoulders up, back and down. And you can move your arms together or you can alternate. Whatever is going to feel the best. You can try both. Or just stick with what you know is going to feel good. Let's come back into stillness. And we've been sitting for a little while, so let's send the legs out long. Using your hands to assist your legs, send them out long. Shake those legs out. You can rock your feet back and forth from side to side. And if it's comfortable to you, I invite you to take the opposite cross of the legs. It always feels a little bit weird. If it feels too weird, you can go back to how you were sitting. But sometimes it's good to do something a little different. And now we'll move into our tapas practice, coming into goddess arms, imagining you're holding a light in your palms. It can be one light as your own and one light as your baby's. Holding strong here. Hands are just a little above the shoulders. And before we go any further, I just want to remind you that if any movement that I suggest during this class doesn't feel good to you or if you feel too tired or uncomfortable, you're welcome to take a break, come out of it, find a child's pose or coming to sit in a cross-legged position or just lying down. That's perfectly acceptable too. Any movement that's going to feel good to you. And you can stay here in stillness or you can find a little bit of movement in the torso. Go back and forth from side to side. You could go forward and back. You can make little circles, trying to keep those arms up. The tapas practice is helpful in strengthening the arms, shoulders, preparing you to hold that beautiful baby. When they come out of your body, they want to be held and loved. You're building that strength so you can 
give them what they want and probably what you want to. Although it's always acceptable to ask somebody else to hold your baby for a while if you're too tired. Because <laughs> that happens too. Finding any movement here. Keeping your arms strong. Tuning into your breath. The strong breath helps you push through obstacles, hard things in life, whether it's keeping your arms up, whether it's a stressful day, or whether it's childbirth. The breath keeps you going. That oxygen is essential. Let's come back into stillness here and then push your palms away from you. Holding here, fingertips reach up towards the sky and then let's roll the wrists as the arms come up. Switch the direction of your wrist circles and move the arms down. Coming out wide into a T. You can make this as slow or as fast as you want. We'll continue going up and down here. And if you get uncomfortable with how you're sitting, you are welcome to switch the cross of your legs or find a different position. Let's do one more up and down. We'll meet down at the bottom. Push the palms away from you. And then rest your hands down for a moment. Roll your shoulders back and then put your arms back out. Uh, bring your hand into a fist, stick, stick your thumbs up, and then we'll move those thumbs forward and back here. This is called the hitchhiker. <laughs> I don't think many people are hitchhiking these days. Notice how this movement feels in your body. Tap into the strength within. Again, if you need to take a quick break and go back out, you listen to your body. You know what's best here. Deep, expansive inhalations deep, expansive exhalations. You are doing great. All right, let's come into stillness here. Thumbs point up, hold it here for a moment, and then extend your hand out, palms face up, lift your hands up, palms come to touch, bring your hands down to heart center. Send your arms out wide, lift your hands up, bring your hands down to center. Let's do that one more time. Hands come out, up, and down. Let's take a few rounds of breath here, giving the arms a little break. And then to, to finish off our tapas practice, we'll, we'll take some swimming strokes. And you can make these swimming strokes whatever you would like, beginning when you're ready. You can take freestyle, you can take breaststroke, you can take backstroke, or if you really wanna get wild here, you can take butterfly. <laughs> well, that one really makes things Interesting, but only do this if it feels good in your body. 
Imagine that you're swimming in a body of water, whatever kind of water you would like it to be, whether that's a lake, a river, an ocean, a swimming pool. It's just you and your baby, nice and safe. You're being a, a human submarine. I always thought that was really cool when I was pregnant and I would go swimming. <laughs> Take a, a few more strokes, getting back to shore, getting back to the edge of the pool. And then let's sweep the arms wide, bring the palms to touch, exhale the hands back down to the heart. Give yourself a nice little shoulder massage here. Shake the arms out. And then let's meet in hands and knees, moving any props out of the way that you might be sitting on. We'll come into hands and knees, tabletop position, shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. We'll move through uh, a few cat stretches. So let's inhale into a flat back, exhale round the spine, tuck the tail. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keep moving through at your own pace here. Finding as big of a stretch as you'd like. Do one more. Come back to center. And let's take some hip circles here. Moving whichever direction you'd like. Moving slowly. These circles can be as big or as little as you'd like. Connect with your breath. You can switch directions if you'd like. And connect with the little babe inside. Notice how your body's feeling. Let's come back to tabletop position and we'll briefly take a polar bear pose, dropping down onto your forearms. Palms can either come to touch or hands can press into your mat. I'd like you to bring your awareness to the, the diamond shape of your pelvis area. You can imagine your pubic bone in front, coccyx in the back, and your two sit bones. Now when you inhale, imagine the four corners expanding away from each other. And as you exhale, they come in closer. If you'd like, you can stay here in stillness or you can take a few little pelvic tilts here. Inhale, lift the tailbone up, spreading those four points away from each other Exhale, tuck the tail just a little bit. Imagine those four points coming back together. Inhale. Exhale. Continue for a few more rounds at your own pace here. Imagining those four points spreading away from each other and drawing towards one another.
come into stillness in your polar bear pose. Let your head hang heavy. And if you'd like, peek past the midline, just down the midline, looking at your belly. Say a quick hello to your little babe if you'd like. Let's come back up to hands and knees and grab a block. I'm gonna turn to face you so you can see what I'm doing. So from hands and knees, you'll bring your hands up to the block, send the right leg out to the side. The toes can be pointed forward if you'd like. Um, it's, we're, we're gonna go into gate pose in a few poses, but not quite. So leave your left hand on top of the block or on the floor if that's available to you. Inhale, lift the right arm up and then send the right arm down. We're coming into a thread the needle variation. Keep moving, we'll flow through here, going up and down, taking a gentle little twist here, only going as far as feels good to you and your body. Making sure there's plenty of space for baby here. Let's do one more, meet at the bottom, hold it here for just a quick sec, lift back up, place your right hand on the block. And next we'll come into gate pose. So bring your hands onto your hips, exhale, lift your torso up, send the right hand down the right leg, Lift the left arm up and over. Fingertips reach towards the upper corner of the room. Breathe into this opening, really creating space in the rib cage, finding a stretch in the legs here. Notice where you feel this pose. Let's come back to center. Place your hands on the block or on the ground. Bring the right knee in. And let's rock the hips back and forth from side to side here. Let's come back into stillness. Hands are either on your block or on the ground, or you can lower your block if that would feel good. Find what suits you best. Send the left leg out. And we'll come into those flowy thread the needles. Right hand on the block, lift the left arm up, fingertips reach towards the sky, and then send the left arm behind the right and keep moving at your own pace here. Keep breathing here. Notice how this movement feels. Let's do one more round and then we'll meet at the top. Release the hand, release the knee. Oh, just kidding. Send the, keep the left leg out. Forgot gate pose. Bring your hands to your hips, lift your torso up. Send the left, leg, left hand down the left leg, right arm reaches up and over. Fingertips reach towards the upper corner of the room. Right knee plants down into the mat. Breathe into this opening. And find the gaze that suits you best. Either up, straight ahead, or down. Whatever feels good on your neck. And 
Going as deep into the pose as feels good to you. Bring your right hand to your hip. Lift your torso up. Hands come to the block. Release that left leg. And now rock your hips back and forth from side to side. Next is Yogi Mama's Choice. You can move your block out of the way. You can either come into a child's pose, polar bear pose, puppy pose, or downward facing dog. Child's pose, quickly cue through each of them. Knees come wide, big toes come to touch, arms extend long, palms press into the mat. Polar bear pose, we did that earlier. From hands and knees, drop down to your forearms. Head hangs heavy. Puppy pose, you're in hands and knees. Walk your hands forward about a foot and then push your booty back. Your downward facing dog from hands and knees. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up towards the sky. Whatever pose you found, Connect with your breath. And notice if you can find more ease in your pose. Send your breath all throughout your body. Let's gently come out of it, meeting in hands and knees, and grab that block again. Placing your block at the highest setting, step your feet forward, feet come as wide as your mat, toes pointed forward, and take a, a fold here. You can bend and straighten the legs here if you'd like. You can Gently rock your hips back and forth from side to side if that would feel good. And then when you're ready, fold a little bit. If you don't want to come into stillness and your body needs some gentle movement, movement so you feel comfortable, that's perfectly fine. It is your body, your practice. Trust yourself. If you're folded forward in stillness, let your head hang heavy. And shift your weight into the balls of your feet. Feel your sit bones reaching towards opposite sides of the room. Next, we'll come into drop squats. So you're with your hands on the block. You might need to walk your feet back a little bit from your block and shift your weight into your heels. And when you're ready, push your booty back as you lower down. Standing up and pushing yourself back down. Move through at your own pace here. making sure this feels comfortable to you. Weight is rocked towards your heels. If you'd like to connect your breath with the movement, you can inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up. Let's meet down at the bottom next time you're down. Hands come to your thighs gently. Straighten your legs just a little bit. There should still be a slight bend here. And let's take some pelvic tilts. So re remember, imagine that diamond shape. As you inhale, those four points move away from each other. As you exhale, 
they come together. Inhale, slightly arch the back. Exhale, tuck the tail. Let's come into stillness. Slowly bring yourself up to stand. Let's move, um, walk out of the way. Come to stand in Tadasana, mountain pose, at the top of your mat. Feet are about hips width distance apart, maybe a little wider. Palms face forward, arms extend long by your sides. Stand tall and strong in your mountain pose. I'll face you so you can see me. On your next inhalation, sweep the arms wide, bring the palms to touch at the top. Exhale, bring the right hand down the right leg and the lift the left arm up and over. Fingertips reaching towards the upper corner of the room. Coming into bending mountain pose. Let's inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over to the other side. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and over. One more deep round of breath here. Let's come back to center. Exhale, push the air down. Stand in your Tadasana. Feel your shoulder blades draw down your back. Take a scan of your body and notice how you're feeling. And standing at the top of your mat, bring your hands to your hips and let's prepare for a warrior two flow. So step the legs wide about arm span distance. You can adjust as we get into the pose. Left toes point towards the left side of your mat, right toes swivel them so they're pointed towards the front of your mat. And then bring your hands to your hips, bend into that front knee. When you're ready, extend the arms long, fingertips reach forward and back. Let's straighten the arms or straighten the legs, reach the arms up towards the sky, and come back into it. Let's move in and out here, flowing into and out of our warrior two, keeping that engagement in the legs, hips and shoulders square with the left side of your mat, The next time you're in warrior two, stay here. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten that leg and rotate the feet. Right toes point towards the left side of your mat, left toes point to the back of your mat. Come into warrior two flow on the other side. And while, we're, while our legs are extended, engage your legs, feel your femur bone pulling up and then bend into that left knee. Extend the arms long, fingertips reaching forward and back. When you're ready, let's flow through here. Coming into and out of a warrior two. Keeping engagement in those legs. Notice the strength and the stability that you contain within. The next time you're down in warrior two, stay here. Gaze is just over those front fingertips. Hands come to your hips, straighten the leg, 
rotate the toes so all ten toes are pointing towards the left side of your mat. Heel toe your feet in and we'll shake it out here. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. You can wiggle as much as you want. <laughs> and then let's bring our legs out to the same width that they were before. Hands come to your hips. Leave the left toes where they are. Right toes turn to the front of your mat. And we'll come into Mama Protector Pose. And I'll just show you, I'll quickly show you. So it's as if you're pulling a, a bow open here. So let's bring, let's bring our hands to our hips, bend into the front knee, bring your right arm up, left arm back, and then let's extend the arms up, extend the front knee, and then come back down into it. We'll flow through here, moving in and out. And when you come into it, your gaze can be at the right hand if you'd like. Notice the engagement that's happening in the legs and the arms and the pelvic floor. The next time you're in the pose, stay here. Feel the fierceness that comes out with this pose. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten the front leg, rotate the toes, right toes point to, towards the left side of your mat, left toes point towards the back of your mat, bend into the front knee, bring your arms up. Stand strong in your mama protector pose. And then let's flow through here, extending the leg, re bringing the arms up, and coming back down into it. Connecting with your breath here. The next time you're down in the pose, let's stay here. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten the front leg. Rotate your toes in, heel toe, your feet back in, and then we'll twist it out. Arms hang heavy, swinging around the body. Next, we will come into a squat. So bring your feet a little wider again, not quite as wide as they were before. If you're having any pelvis pain, toes stay forward. If your body's feeling it okay today, toes can point out to the side. Bring your hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra. When you're ready, lower on down into your squat. Let's lift the right heel off the ground, and switch to the other side. And switch, and switch. If you need to find a drishti, a focal point on the wall in front of you that's not moving to help you keep your balance, that might be helpful. Keep switching as you lift and lower each of your heels. Let's stay here in stillness, extend the legs, take a deep breath. Exhale, lower on down. And then let's sweep the arms wide as we stand up. Bring the hands down to heart center as we lower down. Sweep the arms wide, stand up, 
and then lower on down. Keep going at your own pace. If you'd like to connect your breath with this movement, you can inhale as you lower down, exhale as you stand up. And that inhalation really helps to open the pelvic floor, that pelvic diamond. It's in pregnancy, the goal is to, to soften that area in preparation for childbirth. Let's do one more meeting at the bottom. Take a deep round of breath here. Let's extend the legs, release the arms, heel toe the feet in, and we'll take some hip circles. Hands on the hips, slightly bend the knees, move your hips round in a circle. Making these hip circles as big as you'd like them to be. Connect with your breath. Expansive inhalations, expansive exhalations. You can switch the directions of your hip circles. And check in with your body here. Notice how this movement feels. If you'd like, you can join me for some figure eights. This one takes a little bit more thought. That can be helpful in getting your mind to be present in this moment. Let's switch directions of the figure eights. Again, a little more brain power. <laughs> Juicing up the hip joints here. Finding some nice gentle movement. Let's come into stillness straighten the legs and then we'll come into wave squats before we come down to the ground grab your block place it on the highest setting and you can use the block for wave squats or not let's bring the hands to heart center shift your weight into your heels and then as you lower on down push your booty back Stand up, sweep the arms wide, bring the palms to touch, and then lower everything down, lift everything up. Keep moving at your own pace, going as deep as feels good to you. Really making sure the Weight is rocked back towards the heels. If you'd like to connect your breath with the movement, you can inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up. Let's do two more here. Standing up and then we'll lower down one more time. Hands can come to your block. Lower down onto your knees. And then you can either cross your shins or sweep your legs to the side and come to sit down. 
It might be helpful to get a, a bolster or a blanket or a pillow to place underneath your hips. And then we'll do a seated fold. Send the legs out long. Feet are a little bit, about hips width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. You can place your hands next to your hips to find a tall spine here. And then when you're ready, slowly lower yourself forward, making sure there's plenty of room for your belly and your baby. And reach your hands to whatever is available to you. Your knees, your shins, your ankles, or you could put your place your peace fingers around your big toes if that's available to you. Wherever you're at, appreciate your body and what you're capable of. You are growing a baby and you rolled out your yoga mat today. That's a pretty big deal. High five. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes we just have to celebrate those small wins. You growing a, a human being in your body is not a small win. I was talking about rolling out your yoga mat. Make sure you're not clenching, holding tension in your jaw or your shoulders here. When you're ready, slowly lift your torso up, grab onto the backs of your legs with your hands, and we'll come into a head to knee pose. So send your right leg out to the side, foot is flexed, the sole of the left foot comes to the inner thigh here. And you have two options. Um, we'll, we'll start with we'll start with one, option one. So option one is to just fold forward straight between your legs here. And we'll just start here. Checking in with your sit bones, making sure they're both rooted down. Hands can come in front of you to support your body. You can go a little deeper if that would feel nice to you, but listen to your body. When you're ready, lift your torso up, bring your chest so it's square with your left knee, and then you have a few options with your arm. Your arm can extend on top of your leg, on top of your right shin, or if you have a block, you can place your right arm on top of that block, just placing the block to the inside of the, the right shin muscle, shin bone. And then the left arm reaches up and over. And check in with that right arm. Do you like how it is? Is that comfortable? Do you want to try something different? Another option is to place your right elbow on your right thigh and place your right hand on your belly to connect with your baby. Fingertips reach towards the upper corner of your room, breathing space into the side body here. Let's use the left arm to lift you up and use your hands to assist your legs. We'll switch to the other side. Left arm, left leg extends long to the side. The sole of the right foot comes to the left inner thigh. And let's fold forward between those legs here. I'm trying to Keep the sit bones evenly rooted down. This is where having a, a blanket or a bolster or something to sit on can make these poses a lot easier. 
for the body. Gently bring your torso up and bring your chest so it's square with the right leg and then find your variation with your arm. Does your arm want to be placed on the shin bone or the ground or on top of a block here? Or again, if you want to place your hand on your belly, find your variation, reach the right arm up and over. And breathe into your pose. Send your breath to the place in your body that needs it the most right now. One more deep round of breath. Bring your torso back up. Find a comfortable seat. You can cross your legs if that would feel nice. And let's take a yoga mudra. Hands come behind you. Hands grab onto your wrists, your forearms, or your elbows. Sit up nice and tall here. Take a scan of your body. Notice how you're feeling. Let's take a few moments to prepare for Shavasana. You can release the hands. And if you need to get any more articles of clothing or any more props, you're welcome to grab them now. And I'll show you a few Shavasana options. Uh, if you're still er early in your pregnancy and lying on your back feels comfortable, you're welcome to do so. Um, I definitely recommend placing a rolled up blanket or a bolster underneath your knees. That can feel really nice. Um, and another option is to put a, a blanket or a pillow or something underneath your neck. So one option is side lying pose. You can get as many props as you have and let's see here. I'll just stack my props up. So find the side that's going to feel best to you your lower leg extends long and your right leg or your top leg, top knee comes over top and check in with your, your hip, your knee and your ankle. Make sure they're all on one plane and then you can get a, a blanket or a pillow and place it underneath your head or you can support your head with your arm. Another option um, is legs up the wall. I'll show that one. So if you do legs up the wall, move my props here. Bring your hips right next, right up next to the wall. Slowly lower down onto your side and then roll onto your back, making sure you have some support underneath your hips and send your legs up long. If you are in legs up the wall, your arms can rest by your sides or you can place your hands on your belly. So find your pose, get as comfortable as possible here. When you're ready, I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Open your mouth, let something go. 
Let's do that two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Last time, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm. Feel your body release into the mat and the supports beneath you. Imagine your baby getting nice and cozy in your belly. Maybe they're gonna take a little rest too. Bring your awareness to your toes. Feel all of your toes relax. Release your shins, your calf muscles. Relax the fronts and backs of your thighs. Soften your hips and glutes. Feel your whole back relax. Release tension from your shoulders. Relax your biceps and your triceps. Relax your forearms, the fronts and the backs. Let go of the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands, and all of your fingers. Soften your belly. Notice the light of your baby. Relax your whole chest. Soften your throat and neck. Release tension from your jaw. Soften your tongue. Relax your cheeks, your nose, and your eyes. Let go of your forehead your ears, and the back of your head. Release the crown of your head. Feel a wave of relaxation wash over your body. You are safe and free of tension. Bring your awareness back to your breath, back to your body. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open your mouth, let something go. Gently bring movement back into your body. Whatever way feels authentic to you. When you're ready, use the strength of your arms to push yourself up to a comfortable seat.
hands can rest comfortably on your thighs or your hands can be on your belly or you can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Sending light and love in towards your baby and your heart center. On your next inhalation, let's sweep the arms wide. Bring the palms to touch at the top. Then bring the hands down to heart center. Before we close, I just want you to notice your breath. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice how your mind is feeling. May you take that light, that energy with you throughout the rest of your day and throughout the rest of your pregnancy. Let's bring the thumbs to touch the forehead as a reminder of kind thoughts. Thumbs touch the mouth as a reminder of kind words. And thumbs touch the heart as a reminder of kind intentions. The light within me honors the light within you and your baby. Namaste.